welcome to the Fleet Geeks podcast. We're here to help develop fleet and transport professionals. Do you want to progress and develop your skills and knowledge? We promise to bring lively conversation and debate around interesting issues and keep you bang up to date with changes in our awesome industry. The Fleet Geeks are a community of professionals and if you enjoy the podcast, why not join the discussion for free in the Fleet Geek community over on Facebook? And we are talking about transport manager training beyond the qualification. That's a wide subject, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, really it is. yeah. It was a bit like driving. You know, we, we 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 often make this analogy, don't we? When we when we're talking about transport manager, it's a bit like passing your driving test. I mean, you, you, that's when the learning begins, isn't it? I think yeah, that's the point. Absolutely, mate. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you reckon, Jay? Yeah, I think it's difficult, isn't it? I think it's difficult if you go from uh, freshly freshly uh, CPC'd, so to speak, into a business. It's good to have someone you can learn off when you're there because it is, like you say, it's such a wide scope of skills uh, and you need that development as you go on, don't you? And pe- people to show you the, the right way, you know. Um, yeah, and I, I'd say a big company you get that, but yeah, some of the smaller companies perhaps perhaps you don't get that. So yeah, I think learning from other people is a, a good thing. Absolutely, yeah. I think in investing in yourself as well, I think, you know, there's um, there's there's a range of stuff available to people, not just paid training. I think yeah, that's one of the things that people need to move past is there's a wealth of free stuff. We're offering a wealth of free Absolutely, stuff out there. Yeah, there's yeah. podcasts, um, but I, I guess if we break it down, there's there's two elements, isn't there, to, to to being a transport manager? You've got you've got the technical skills, and then you've got the so, is there a better term than soft, soft skills? skills? Oh, I hate uh, the soft developmental, skills. Developmental, developmental uh, skills. Developmental hearts and minds, I've heard it called as well, yeah. which is, again is one of my bugbears. I don't like it being called hearts and minds, but it sounds like you're trying to invade a country or something, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. it topical. With the hearts and minds, very topical. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think you're right. And it's, it's, I think people's perception of training sometimes is... Um, that you you know you sit around and you wait for somebody to come and say there's a training course I'd like you to go on next week or you know I'd like I think you as a, an individual you've got to self you've got to bring that development into yourself haven't you and be be Definitely, wanting yeah. to listen to podcasts like this you know we're not not just pl- pl- plugging this and, and and to the Fleet Geeks network and and but there's all sorts of things you can do as an individual to to make that happen isn't there. It's a great seminars and things, isn't there? Like you say, podcasts. There's so many media outlets to get to get the information and stuff like that. Even a book, you know. Yeah, so. absolutely. So I, I was going to say, maybe let's let's do some examples of some of the stuff that we do, for example, to stay on top of the game. Because I know you guys are both into your development as well. But from a technical point of view, I'll often look at Commercial Motor Magazine. Um, I there, there's a lot of. I should be very careful. Actually, I'm not going to knock Commercial Motor. But there's a lot of bloody adverts. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I do get a bit frustrated at paying to be advertised to as well because at least at, at least make it less than 50% of the magazine yeah. guys come yeah. on you know let's get 50% of quality in there um, but I, I pay special attention to the applications and decisions yeah, section absolutely if, 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 you, if you haven't got applications and decisions if you want to go on the government website and look at them yourself that's great but commercial motor what they'll do for it is summarise it won't they they'll make it into a digestible format yeah. and, and that's exactly where I go and if I want to look at, as a trainer, if I want to go look a little bit deeper, I'll go on to the, uh, the government website. But Commercial Motor for me for A's and D's, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it's a really, really good little portal there for you, for you to be able to look at. And you can look at it online. You don't necessarily really even have to buy the, buy the magazine either no. if you're f- short of a few quid. Uh, you can actually just go and look on the website. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, so the other thing I subscribe to is I get the email to come through from, from um, uh, the applications and decisions. Yeah. But you, c- you can also, you know, I, I subscribe to a range of different newsletters. You get uh, the DVSA have one. Yeah, they have moving on blog, it's very good. Moving on, blog. but Blogspot, very great, great source of information. Um, you've then got um, the traffic commissioner themselves. They they send emails yeah. out, don't they? Notification yeah. updates. And they're even on Twitter now. On. There you go. They're even on Twitter. So th- there you go. Social media is another social great media, one. Yeah. Following people on social media. Um, and, and and listening in there, uh, the DVSA social media and Twitter is really useful. They they always share photos yeah. and interesting stuff for you to have a look at. Um, but then aside from that, just outside of there, why not look at the HSE stuff? You can subscribe to the HSE and get sent yeah. their newsletter uh, from the HSE. Uh, you can also sign up to the CIPD as well, so you start to pick up on the HR stuff yeah. that are coming in. Things like IR35, you can read up on on those things. So you've got technical skills. 
uh, from from that point of view as well. Um, there's obviously, I, I think, memberships of professional organisations probably a conversation for another podcast. Um, but you've got a range of the Chartered Institute, you've got the RHA, you've got Logistics UK. There's lots of membership uh, organisations, <laughs> Fleet Geeks as well. If you wanted to become <laughs> a member, well. too. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think well. you'd mention it, but yeah, <laughs> um, absolutely. But let's let's set aside. I, th- I think. This one, I, I think, let's focus a little bit more on the uh, more developmental skills away from the technical side of it, because I think that's probably another podcast. So let's let's have a look at the developmental side. What can people do, or transport managers do, or aspiring transport managers do, to help develop their softer skills, empathy, uh, that kind of thing? Well, I mean, you know, staying on the theme of social uh, media. Uh, it's you know over the I'm a dinosaur look, but I've discovered over the last couple of years podcasts and and uh, YouTube and things like that. And that and, you know there is so much out there at the moment. Just you know not necessarily around the transport sector, but I've just followed started following a guy called James Smith, who is uh, ex rugby player. Um, you know in, in terms of you know development in all sorts of areas. There's just loads out there, isn't there? Loads of absolutely, information. Absolutely. What about you, Joe? What, what's your top books or top podcasts? <laughs> Fleet Geeks, obviously, is my uh, top <laughs> podcast. Yes. Followed, followed quickly by half a dozen things. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, social media I use a lot, um, really, is just other people's experiences as well. You have to be careful on social media looking at stuff like that because you'll have probably five different answers, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I, I use social media as a bit of a tool. Um, and, and books, yeah, I have the Lowe's handbook. I always go f- go through that. But for empathy and skills, yeah, I think I think that's something you actually you gain through your work in life as well. Yeah, a bit practice. of experience you can gain with that. Um, I, I mean, I've got to play my hand here, show my hand here that it's my psycho. I I have an interest in psychology, and I studied sports psychology many years ago, and so I always find a good source of of personal development can come from reading sports biographies. Yeah, there are th- so many good sports biographies out there. If you're into reading as opposed to social media, or you know, you you can get. I've I've discovered audio books, but if you just like to read the books, I've, I think sports biographies because there's not a lot of differences there psychologically between a sportsman and somebody in business or somebody trying to make their way in life. You know, in general, uh, there's a lot to pick out of, of sports uh, sports psychology and and and, bio, uh, and biographies from sports people. Yeah, I, t- I totally agree. I think that. that- there is literally a podcast for everyone. There is a podcast yeah. for anything. I've just had recommended to me. I've just started listening. I thought I'd sort of picked my podcast, but uh, the High Performance Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've just had that recommended to me. I think that's a good one for people to listen to. That looks um, Jake Humphreys. Yeah. Um, I think that looks really interesting. He interviews a range of business people, sports stars, those kinds of things, and he. The, the premise essentially he's done a much better job of the, me than a half dozen things but essentially the premise is quite similar he's looking at what are the, what's this secret source around success um, I think there's a lot of stuff around leadership out there there's a lot of stuff around um, uh, personal development skills audio books so th- th- there's a range of mediums Audible's a great one so you've got audio books on Audible uh, seven ninety nine a month for a subscription yeah. to Audible and you get a book a I month get- 20 times that value out of that idea. Yeah, um, you know, so you've got that. You've got podcasts that are totally free. You know, like Fleet Geeks. Like, yeah, like, like Fleet Geeks. <laughs> First time that's been plugged now, so I think we're doing all right. Everyone's got one in. Um, the, the free podcasts, YouTube's free. There's loads of stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Go and listen to, you know, Simon Sinek. Um, go and listen to Elon Musk. Go and listen to, you know, I, I really listen to Deepak Chopra and Sadhguru and, and people like that because I'm a bit sad like that. Um, but, you know, there, there, there's a range of videos. And then the other big one that I wanted to, to, to hint at, because I, as part of the part of me going out and training and speaking to people, not everyone's bookworms, not people, a lot of people aren't bothered about podcasts, although they are great for driving and listening whilst yeah, you're right. out and about and stuff like that. Uh, Blinkist's a, a great app. Um, yeah. I think that's 60 quid for the year. So what, five pound a month for Blinkist? Um, and that's essentially a short synopsis of all the books. So, Hi, it's Pete from Flagship Partners. We're really proud to sponsor the Fleet Geeks podcast. Flagship Partners offer a range of consultancy and training services to ensure that our customers remain compliant and have the best possible knowledge to be able to fulfil their work. If you're interested in support with any of our safety, HR or compliance services, or you want to train to be a transport manager or need driver CPC training, give us a call today. 
if you're not too sure or you get fed up and get bored of books, that kind of thing, then they're like five, 10 minute clips. You can either listen or you can actually read them. Um, I think, you know, that that's a great accessible yeah. way. If you're not in, if you're not a reader, that's an accessible way of reading books and getting those key points and still helping develop yourself as well. Blink is a great app, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, what, what, have we, what have we missed? Podcasts, books, uh, I suppose there's a formal training. Uh, we're trying to avoid the formal yeah. training route because I think a lot of people will go to their managers and go, uh, you know, w- what what sort of training can you put me on? And actually, there's not there's not many people that will. No. Um, that, no. There's that, that, there's often not, not that interest in investing, really, is there? That's the challenge. Uh, there is a lack of training out there for individuals to develop themselves. Um, as you say, there's the formal training, which is great. Keep it coming. We'd love to deliver that and we'll deliver it. We'll deliver it here in a style that you've probably not come across before or, or rarely. So uh, that makes it slightly more attractive, I, I believe. And that's that's a great sales pitch in there. <laughs> but um, but yeah, uh, but there's other stuff, you know, as well that we, we, we're looking at and, and developing. And it's all to really to do with communications and developing the individual because uh, there's nothing out there. Absolutely nothing out there, um, you know, that, that, that sort of fits our bill, is there really? I don't, not that I've come across. I've been on some great training courses, but it tends to be the trainer that's made them great rather than the rather than the actual content. But I've learned from that as well as a trainer. So. Yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the things uh, that I, I just, whilst we've got people listening and thinking about their personal development, one of the things that I th- that I've found really powerful for me that I do additionally over and above the reading is that I do I do something that's called Vistage and it's probably not for many of the listeners but it's a great opportunity for me as the flagship business as the business owner at flagship to go away with like-minded people and think about the business and think about the challenges they have and I have people who are further down the journey than I am you know they might have businesses with 10 to 100 million pound turnover and staff from you know ranging up to like the hundreds for example so for me to go and expose myself not literally for me to be able to go and have a listen to these people and the challenges they face yeah. and relate to them and share the challenges that I've got as well I feel that, like that, inspiring, that, can't really, well. that really really stretches me so the peer to peer element of that and that, that's something that through Fleet Geeks we want to introduce it's not going to be a free service it's going to be a paid for service but essentially we're going to set up this peer to peer mentoring and we're going to try and make it as accessible as possible so maybe you could twist the arm of the business owner that you work for and maybe they'll help but we also want to make it accessible so that if you decide you're going to dip your hand in your own pocket um, that actually you feel like you get value from it and I will put I will put a guarantee on that if you do it for three months and you don't feel like you've had value from it I will refund your money because that's that's how important it is to me that I think that people feel supported um, and if they're going to explore developing themselves I will put a three month guarantee on that I'll you know no, no questions asked. If you feel like you haven't had the value, then then uh, we'll, we'll we'll refund that. But essentially, from a peer to peer point of view, what we're going to look to do is set up smaller groups of transport managers, um, and you will have access to Jamie, Mike, and myself, and we will start to host these peer to peer sessions. So we'll ask, you know, the big questions, and then as a group, you'll start to learn from each other, and we'll give facilitate that opportunity it, for you to have yeah, that learning. I think that's a great point there, Pete. Facilitate we will help you on on that journey um and it will be you know like no other sort of training that you've you've been on it's not training it's a it, it's that it's that learning from each other learning to grow but as pete says you were you know you will come away with it with value yeah, there's yeah, no two they're absolutely i'm convinced jamie i you know i know you will Definitely. be as well but i'm absolutely convinced they'll it's People a nice relaxed away. environment to learn, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah, absolutely. No and what, what, what we'll do is we'll get, um, what I'll look to do is I'll look to reach out to my network that I have through um, that I've created through the Half Dozen Things podcast I've interviewed some amazing people and potentially I'll look to try and get some guest speaker slots so we'll do we'll do half day sessions I'll ask you know uh, my contacts solicitor contacts or maybe former traffic commissioners uh, to come and uh, come and speak to the group as well which I think will add, add a lot of value as well and for you to be able to have a Q&A with those people yeah. as well that you might not have access to uh, so I think that's a really exciting opportunity what do you reckon gents? Looking forward to it very much yeah, looking definitely. forward to it and uh, uh, one of the things that I really look to develop in myself is to is to join and, and and help other people develop, and it's part of my own development is to is to make other people develop as well, or lead other people along those paths. So very very inspired by that. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, brilliant. Right then. 
Um, so we'll tie that up there. So there's lots and lots of opportunities for people to develop themselves outside of the qualification. We're very firm believers that getting your transport manager CPC is a bit like getting your driving license. It's the experience. It's the what you uh, expose yourself to. Don't do that too literally. <laughs> uh, but it's what you you know what you get out there and get involved in. It's about feeling vulnerable. It's about making yourself vulnerable, admitting that you don't know all the answers because we don't know all the answers. That person's not been born yet. Um, and, uh, and 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 building the community and support network of people around you. So uh, we're going to help you facilitate that. And uh, yeah, catch you all soon, guys. Very Cheers. much look forward to it. Thank you very much. Cheers. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please share with your friends and colleagues too. Join us for free on Facebook with the Fleet Geeks community for transport and fleet managers. Fleet Geeks offers ongoing professional development, networking and mentoring too. So get in touch with me, Pete Rushmer, on any social media platform to find out more.